Hey everybody, Joel, Moose Droppings by ImportSauce.com. Today we have an Erico DTC uh, after the engine rebuild. Um, P0238, which is our uh, map or boost sensor. Uh, circuit too high. So we're going to take a look, show you, uh, I think we know why. Um, and it's quick and easy. Uh, so stick around. As part of the T5 Ultimate Forged engine rebuild, uh, we had a few setbacks uh, in the series. If you watch it, you know that our cam gears uh, had exploded. Those are replacement ones. Um, and this engine bay was covered in oil. Uh, so uh, I did a pressure wash and I might have got a little heavy on it. After that is when I noticed uh, the first time that that coat appeared. Uh, I just let it ride because uh, the top end came back off. We were messing with that a little bit more. And now that everything is dialed, time is dialed, everything's brand new and we're putting miles on the car and we're sending data logs in, um, we need to clear that code to make sure that our uh, data logs are going in and everything's reading appropriately. Uh, so the code we got, P0238, uh, circuit on that map or boost sensor is too high. Uh, bumper's off because I need to pull this thing up and do an oil change and it's easier to pull the bumper, roll it on ramps than it is to jack it up. I'm tired of having this car jacked up for two years, so, um, and we had to do this anyways. So, here's what the sensor looks like. It is, uh, this is the Bosch, uh, an important note on the part number. Uh, the earlier models or the pre-facelift models is uh, part 0261230090. Uh, that is not the Volvo part number, but if you do put in the universal Volvo number, uh, they are going to say, hey, here is the sensor that you need to use. And this is actually the one that is better suited for... Uh, post facelift 2008 P1 and up. Same part number, but at the end it is uh, 265, I believe. Um, and that one, uh, all over Sweet Speed, you'll see that people have issues when they put that newer model sensor on the pre facelift uh, P1s. So uh, here is what the sensor looks like. And when you get it, you're going to want to double check on the uh, actual sensor that also that matches that part number as well. Um, easily enough on the P1s, it is right on the uh, cold side of the intercooler. Uh, yours will have a little notch and a little base. This is the double size um, intercooler upgrade that we got. Uh, it is actually off the T6R designs, but uh, in terms of cooling capacity, it is double the size, almost exactly double the cubic centimeter uh, cooling size than the original P1. And uh, check that video out. We noticed that our intake temperatures dropped to almost ambient, so you're getting a lot of cooling going on. Um, as with Volvo, uh, T25, uh, single one, just holds it in. So we're going to use uh, this little ratchet bit guy, pull it off, and uh, we are going to also uh, make sure that the connections are very clean. So in the pressure washing, I think that I had gotten too crazy. Uh, we might have shorted the sensor, um, so we're going to make sure it's all cleaned out and ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that out and uh, show you. Not really much to show. Old one off connection cleaned new one on uh, check the part number one that came off was the same that went on so we will go in clear our DTC and uh, give it a run so uh, easily enough if you believe that is what uh, you're experiencing uh, or uh, in, in most cases that DTC is gonna be uh, related to that so um, 90 or 100 dollars or so uh bosch uh volvo is like two something but um it appears that bosch is probably the oe manufacturer for uh volvo because the label and the sticker and the part number on there are identical it's not some random interchange number so hopefully that helps